Okay, so let's look at an application of simultaneous equations to gravimetric analysis. So here we have a mixture containing 2.3 grams, um, and there's an unknown amount of sodium chloride and potassium chloride in this mixture. So in other words, we only know the total amount of sodium chloride and potassium chloride. We don't know how much of each there is. And this mixture is dissolved up and precipitated out with silver ions, and it gives 5.13 grams of silver chloride. So using this information, we should be able to find out how much sodium chloride and potassium chloride there was in the original mixture. So, how do we do this? Well, if we think about it, on the left-hand side of our equation here, we have a mixture of sodium chloride and potassium chloride. All we know is the total mass, 2.3 grams. On the right-hand side, we have just silver chloride. All we know is the total mass, 5.13 grams. So at first glance, it seems very difficult. How are we going to work out how much sodium chloride and potassium chloride there is? Well, there's a little trick we can do, because we can say that the amount of chloride on the left-hand side, in other words, the proportion of that 2.3 grams that is chloride, is equal to the amount of chloride on the right-hand side, the proportion of the 5.13 grams that's chloride. So the chloride will give us a key or a link into solving this um, problem. So we have two unknowns. We have the mass of sodium chloride, which I'm going to call X, and the mass of potassium chloride, which I'm going to call Y. And we have two pieces of information. We know the total mass of sodium chloride and potassium chloride. So straight away I can build one equation. I can say X plus Y is 2.3. The total mass of sodium chloride and potassium chloride is 2.3 grams. And as I say, we know the fraction of chloride on each side. So we need to manipulate this now uh, to build our second equation. So we need to calculate the fraction of chloride on each side. And this is done by working out the proportion of chloride in each of the three compounds and then adding them up. So the proportion of chloride in X grams of sodium chloride is the fraction of chloride in sodium chloride, so that's the atomic mass of uh, chlorine, 35.5, divided by the molecular mass of sodium chloride, times the mass of sodium chloride, X, so that gives me 0.61X. I can do the same for potassium chloride, it's the atomic mass of chlorine, divided by the molecular mass of potassium chloride, times the mass of chloride, sorry, times the mass of potassium chloride, so that's 0.48Y, and do the same for silver chloride, except this time now I know the mass of silver chloride, so I'm multiplying my proportion by 5.13. So that gives me 1.27 grams. So now I can build my second equation. I can say that the proportion of chloride in sodium chloride times its mass plus the proportion of chloride in potassium chloride times its mass is equal to the proportion of chloride in silver chloride times its mass. In other words, 0.61x plus 0.48y is equal to 1.27. So now I have my two equations, the rest is easy. I want to solve by elimination, so I'm going to divide across uh, equation 2 by 0.61, so I match up the x values. I'll subtract the second equation from the first, that gives me a value for y, 0.94 grams. I can substitute that in using equation 1 to work out the value for x, that's 1.36 grams. So the x is the mass of sodium chloride, so that's 1.36 grams. Y is the mass of potassium chloride, that's 0.94 grams.